for me the balance is I will work hard I will attend activities I will teach my team about Jesus I will teach them about sound I will teach them about whatever I can but I also realize that it's really not about me ready everybody so we are doing a new kind of video a special kind of video and i'm going to talk about like the balance between relationship and activity for me i right now i am the sound coordinator at Boyne university and that sounds nice in theory I mean, sound coordinator, what do you do i run sound for the entire chapel and the university and it, all these events most times we handle it except they are for the bigger up stuff and the balance is this i want people to see me working like for example like my roommates i would like them to see me like serving god because sometimes i can't go for all the events right because I'm a, st- I'm a student too and if i tell myself okay, i'll skip every single event just come to chapel like once it won't work because I'm leaving, leaving an example for those who follow, right? I mean, that's what leadership is. Leadership is is taking a step out so that other people will follow you. And for me, leadership is walking towards Jesus. So that when people see me walking towards Jesus, you too will be conformed to his image. So I have this dilemma between wanting to make people follow Jesus and I myself cutting out time for myself to follow Jesus. And then there's a whole area of academics so um, I have given myself time that, okay, I will study this much, but I still have this much activity. Last weekend was Brothers Conference. It was a four-day conference. I didn't go for the last day. The, the Saturday, it was from 8 till 5 p.m. I did not go. I stayed in my room. I cut my hair and I slept and I read. But then the next day, Saturday, Sunday, I had a service till 2 p.m. Um, 7, 7 and 12, I did edited audio till... I had a meeting till one with the executives. Then I had edited audio till two. Then I went to prepare for an event we were shooting, not shooting, an event I was ministering at in Kaut, a worship event where I played the aerophone till that event started at four. I stayed in the venue till four, and then we did that till 7.30. I got dinner, got back to my hostel after eight. And I slept after that, woke up in the morning, and I started all over again today. We had a drama shoot, started at 9 a.m. We should have started at 7, but because of issues, started at 9. And the time is 9.30. <laughs> 9 to 9, that's already 12 hours of, of, of videos. I just ran away. That's why I'm making this video now. And that's the question, the balance. Like, how do I be a follower of Jesus and at the same time lead men towards Jesus? And... For me, the answer is quite simple. I mean, simple, but it's not simple. Like, I just looked at the example of Jesus. What Jesus did was that, you see, scripture says that early in the morning, Jesus will go to a solitary place to pray. And, I mean, I don't really know how his relationship was, but I can tell that Jesus was the kind of guy that spends a lot of time with his team, teaching them, encouraging them. Because, I mean, he spent three years of ministry, and his disciples became more like him. So, you can tell that at the end of the day, when disciples were preaching, the scripture says that and they took note that these guys had been with jesus so jesus invested time in them but jesus did not shirk away from his secret place life you know jesus spent time outside his garden with his, his followers probably he did early in the morning because everybody was still sleeping so that was the time he could take out for himself even after miracles jesus would send his disciples across the shore and he would spend time alone with jesus so for me for me the balance is I will work hard. I will attend activities. I will teach my team about Jesus. I will teach them about sound. I will teach them about whatever I can. But I will also realize that it's really not about me. And I will humble myself and take that lonely route of just going to spend time with Jesus. Because let me, the truth is that even if today something happens to me, God forbid, but let's say, I'm not doing again. I'm not sound coordinator again. Everything will go on as if it has never changed, as if nothing was ever wrong. Everybody will continue their lives. And if you're a leader, realize, I want you to realize that if something happens to you and you're over pushing yourself for people, one day you'll be gone and the ministry will continue. 
He even happened to Jesus. He left, but the ministry continued. So, I guess I want to encourage you that it's allowed, it's okay to take out time to spend time with Jesus. It's allowed to take out time to be in his presence. Somebody is, is, is giving us a light outside. But, end this video here. I will take out time to spend time with Jesus. But I will also invest in my people. Because Jesus is first and everything else is a way to make it beautiful.